Hello, fencers. Welcome back to another training at Northwest Fencing Center. I'm Coach Simon. Today, we're going to do some footwork. We will start with a warm up, then move into uh, the actual footwork. Things you should have with you before we start is a bottle of water to be able to drink during breaks and a glove and your weapon. If you do not have the glove and weapon, that would be all right. You will be able to do the same drills. Let's start with the warm up. We are going to work for one minute. The first 30 seconds of the work are going to be a simple jog, jog in place, during which I will focus on relaxing my shoulders. That's for the first 30 seconds. Then I will switch every three steps, one, two, three, every three foot. I will go knee up for 10 seconds, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then for 10 seconds, heel back, one, two, three, one, two, three. And for 10 seconds, tap my foot inside, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so 30 seconds jog, 10 seconds of knees, 10 seconds of heel, 10 seconds of feet. Let's get ready, relax, and begin. All right, 30 seconds jog. I relax my shoulders. I lift my knees from the ground up like that. I try to be light on my feet. I'm at 15 seconds. We're gonna go for 15 more seconds. Uh, right. Five more seconds, then I will work my knees up every three. And let's go one, two, three. 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 A few more seconds. Now we we'll switch to the heel. One, two, three here. Right, then left. Four more seconds, and I will tap my foot inside. Let's go. Foot inside. I try to bring the foot to my hand without leaning forward. Couple more, and relax. As I do this jog and work with my legs, I try to keep my back straight, my chest up my head up, giving myself 30 second rest, then we'll go for another minute. Five more seconds, so be ready for jogging again, and let's go. All right. Jog, 30 seconds, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, your hands can follow your feet, but there is no tension in the shoulders. Shoulder stays down as you maintain light footing. All right, five seconds. We'll start working the knees up. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, and your knees go up. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Couple more seconds, and I switch. To the heel, let's go, heel. One, two, three on each side. Couple seconds, and I will use the foot. Let's go, up, foot inside. Few more seconds, keep it up, and relax. Shake your legs as we rest. Keep focusing on breathing and relaxing. And we'll do one more of that minute jog and stretch. Let's get ready, couple seconds, and begin. Ah, I'm jogging, breathing, relaxing. Picking up my feet and maintaining a light landing 
on every step. In about five seconds, I will start working my knees up every three steps and begin. One, two, three. I can go higher if I'm a little bit more flexible, but my knee should clearly go up. And the heel. One, two, three again on each side and the foot. A few more seconds and relax. As I rest, I'm going to pull my knee up a little bit, trying to keep my balance. Oh. Each legs a little bit. And I will move to my next warm up exercise, which is going to be jumping jack. I will start legs together, hands down and jump, bringing my legs apart and my hands up. That's going to be my first coordination for today. So straight down, open legs, hands up and back down. I go for a series of 10 for now. Get ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and breathe. Fifteen seconds rest, and I will do a series of twenty. Couple more seconds, so get ready and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I shake it out. On my next series of jumping jack, I will work a different coordination. I will start with my uh, legs spread out, my arms down still, and bring everything together as I jump. Up, straight, and then spread. I will start with 10 repetitions. So be ready. We start in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I relax. As I did with the previous series, I will now execute 20 repetitions of that one. Still relaxing between series. Get in place and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I relax. My next series will mix up a little bit my coordination. I will start with one hand up, one hand down, and as I jump, switch, switch that work of the hand. I will start for now 
with my left hand up, legs together. As I jump and spread the legs, my left hand will go down and my right hand will go up and back. We start with 10 repetition. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. I will now switch my arms. I had my left hand up. I will start now with my right hand up and go for 10 also and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. I will go back to my left hand up and do a series of 20. So let's begin. Left hand up and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And I relax. Final series, starting with my right hand up, left hand down, 20 again. Let's get in position and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I shake it out. These jumps warmed up my calf a little more. I'm going to stretch my calf slightly in order to do so i will keep one leg straight behind go in a small lunge position and move this hip forward while maintaining this foot heel on the ground and i should create a slight stretch in my calf i'm going to do it briefly down, 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 and relax. Up on one leg, stretch, relax on the other one, stretch, and relax. All right. The next phase of my warm up is going to include lunges. We have done lunges before. We are going to adjust one little thing today as we will link the lunges from one leg being up. I will start with my back lunges. I will start today with my knee going up and then lunge back. When my right leg is up, my right hand is down. Okay, so right leg up, right hand down, left hand up. I start knee in front and I'm going to lunge back. Same lunging position we've done in previous series. I will execute 10 repetition on this side. So let's begin, right leg is up, left hand is up, 
right hand is down and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i relax it is also a good way to work my balance if you have issue working your balance you may have a chair next to you to help maintaining that balance working now the other leg so my left leg now goes up right and up as i start then let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and i control my balance same idea working to the side my right leg will start up and lunge to the side and back up in the middle to the side back up in the middle 10 repetition be ready adjust the balance starting knee up and let's go one two control the middle three four five six seven eight nine ten control the middle and relax you may relax working little moves working the other side again starting balance and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i relax the goal of these lunges is to slowly warm up this area. I will, for that, begin within my comfort level, so not too far for myself. And I may increase the size of my lunges as I feel more comfortable doing it. For the forward lunge, next, I will start leg back, both hands back, like I'm trying to jump forward and bring together as I lunge. One and two, one and two. And I try to keep a straight line with my chest and my leg, starting with the right leg, so foot is off the ground. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and I relax. Same thing on the other side. Left leg is back, both hands are back, chest forward. And I learned bringing the legs, bringing the hands up together. Let's get in position and begin. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I relax. Final series of my lunges. I will lunge again to the side. I will this time bring my legs slightly across as I come back to the middle. Similar motion we did earlier as we were tapping the foot. Starting to my right, I start in position. Leg up, up, right is up, left is up, and let's go. One, and I control. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. I control my balance by maintaining this position for a second to a second and a half. That's enough to feel the control of the balance. I will work next on the left side, 10 repetition, and this will conclude my warm up for today. So let's get in position. My left foot comes up, my right hand comes up, and I begin. One, control. Two, control. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and I relax. Most fencers will feel one side slightly more challenging than the other side. It is perfectly normal as we often lunge only on one side and tend to be more flexible on one side than the other. I'm now done with my warm up. Now is a good time to get a quick drink before moving into the food work. Very important for you to focus on breathing while you do all these exercises and drink regularly as you work through the class. I have to talk a lot, give a lot of information which prevent me from doing it. You may do it on your own before I even give you uh, the comment for the drink. Drink in between sets. For my next work, I will grab my glove and my weapon if I have them. If not, not a problem. And we are going to work a little bit of coordination from the on guard position. I will first adjust my stance, make sure both legs are flex, make sure both heels are in line with each other's, I'm going to use this line on the ground to guide myself, legs flex, front hand in place, elbow untuck, back hand up, ready to help the balance and the reach when I will extend. The first little drill is very simple. Everything is going to go by four, I'm going to tap both feet 
in place four times front back from back both feet stayed in the same position one two three four i will then spread the stance starting with the front leg and reset starting with the front leg front back spread front back reset again one two three four then execute two advances one two three four i will do the opposite next starting with the back leg one two three four in place one two three four spread and reset and one two three four to retreat i'm going to execute five repetition of that little sequence so let's get in place nice sangha position chest is up eyes pointing forward and let's begin tap tap from back from back spread the stance from back from back two advances from back from back tap tap back front spread from the back and to reach and again in place one two three four spread the steps one two three four two advances one two three four in place one two three four spread the stance one two three four to retreat one two three four and again that's three Four, and that's five, and I relax. After this five repetition, I should feel slight tension in the legs, which is good. I'm going to go for eight repetition on my next series. Once again, be careful to start with the front leg before the advances, start with the back leg before the retreat. So let's go together, back on guard, starting with the front leg. One, two, three, four, spread. One, two, three, four, advances. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, spread. One, two, three, four. Two, retreat. One, two, three, four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight, and I relax. This series was longer. I started to feel a little bit more tension. In my legs, that's the goal of this series where I increase the length of the sequence. For my third and final series of this one, I will work 10 repetition and include a small lunge after my advance. So begin in position same sequence one two three four in place one two three four spread advance lunge this time one two and three i recover i control and work my sequence backward and, to repeat. and that should take me back to about the same spot i started from so let's go together I control the lunge, control the recover, and work 
my sequence backward. Control the recover. And make sure I work a nice extend. And kick my front leg as I lunge. Advance, extend, kick, recover. That's four repetitions. Five. One for the lunge. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Stay flex, even if you're starting to get your tight in the legs. One more, that's nine. Ten. I can relax now. Breathe during this recovery. I will next work something we worked last week, which is a double tap, followed by an advance double tap on the back foot followed by the advance. I will extend my arm as my second tap is happening. We got position, tap the back leg twice, one, two, extending on two, followed by advance. Reset, tap the front foot twice now, tap, tap, extending on the second one, tap, tap and retreat and reset again. Tap, tap, extend, advance, reset, confront, retreat. Series of 10 repetitions. Let's go together. Come back, advance, reset, confront, retreat, reset. One, back, back, advance, reset, confront, retreat. Two, back, back, advance, confront, retreat. Three. Birds, retreat, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reset, relax. I relax my shoulder now, since I challenged it a little more. I'm going to work another set of 10 of the same, same coordination. Tap, tap, extend, follow by the movement. The arm is fully extended by the time I start my advance or my retreat. Loosen the shoulders for a few more seconds. And let's get back on guard. And begin. Back, back, extend, advance, reset. Front, front, extend, and retreat. One. Two. Stay flex, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, relax. Again, relax the shoulders. The next series is going to be slightly similar. I will replace the advance with a lunge. Back, back, extend, followed by lunge. I recover now and double tap my front foot as I recover. I will demonstrate why you recover from the previous set. So tap, tap, extend, work the lunge, recover, foot length twice. Tap and retreat. I maintain my extend as I went through that recover. Tap, tap, retreat. Demonstration one more time. Tap, tap, extend, lunge. Recover, maintaining the extend. Tap, tap, retreat. Then reset the front arm. 10 repetition once again. Let's get ready. And begin. Tap, tap, extend. Lunge. Maintain and extend. Recover. Tap, tap, retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reset. Fifteen to twenty second break, and we'll do another set of the same. Make sure that you maintain a good balance in your lunges with a work of the core and the chest. If I stay up. As I lunge, I'm going to help maintain that balance. Any leaning forward will pull me forward and make this lunge fall forward. So the work of the abs is going to help maintaining the balance. Let's get back on guard for my second set of this one. Tap, tap, extend. Lunge, recover, tap, tap, retreat. Recover. Two. Three. Four. Again. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. You may drink before the next drill. I will demonstrate the drill first, then we'll do it together. So you have about a minute before you may have to, to work again. On the next drill, I'm going to go back to check steps from my on guard position. I will spread the stance starting with the front foot. Check, check. 
Uh, starting with the, the front foot, the, the front foot, check, check, advance, then lunge. On the recover, I will check the front foot before the double retreat. So again, check, double check, advance, lunge. As I recover, check, double retreat. The check on the recover is similar to the double tap by front foot. It's going to work twice in a row. I show it again. Check, check, advance, lunge, recover, check, double retreat. Maintaining my X step. Let's go for 10 reps in position. Nice and flex, and let's go. Double check, forward lunge, recover, check that one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Relax. One more series of ten. And I will take a break after that. Keep focusing on your breathing. As you work through these 10 repetitions should be a little tiring, but not too much. Let's get in place and let's go again. Double check, advance lunge, recover, check double retreat, one. Double check, advance lunge, recover, check double retreat, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and break. I will now drink. Before I switch to my next phase in the food work. We'll take about two minutes to rest. My next phase of foot work will focus on hand motion. And today I will work two hand motion within one step. Easy way to do that is to link one hand with the front leg second hand with the back leg when I work forward. So if I work advance, I would do one hand move, two hand move. If I work retreat, it's the opposite. One hand move, two hand move. While I 
work one motion with one leg. I'm going to keep both legs connected smoothly. I do not want to break my step with the loss of motion in the middle. I want the step to be smooth in one go. I will start with something easy and simple. From my on guard position, I will advance working circular six, circular six. So my hand worked twice, then retreat working circular six, circular six. So everything stays in six. It's two circular motion, one, two, finishing in six on the retreat, one, two. So let's get in position and advance six, six, retreat six, six, one. Advance six, six, retreat six, six, two. I'm going to 10, advance, retreat three, advance, retreat four, advance, retreat five, advance, retreat six. I make sure I always finished in the right position. Seven, six, 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 eight, six, 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 nine, ten. And I shake it out. On my next set, I will work six, six as I advance and four, four as I retreat. Going from four to four, okay, back foot, front foot. My hand, my hand moves across at the beginning and stays across as I work the circular motion. Then back to six on the advance. So let's go. Nice stance, chest up. Six, six with my advance, six, six. Four, four, with my retreat. One, six, six, four, four, two, six, six, four, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I reset, I relax. I'm going to do another set of this one. 10 repetitions, six on the advance, four on the retreat. Let's get back on guard. Let's go, six on the advance, four on the retreat. One, six on the advance, Four on the retreat, two, six, four, three, six, four, four, six, four, five. Advance, retreat, six. Advance, retreat, seven. Advance, retreat, eight. Advance, retreat, nine. Advance, retreat, 10. I reset, I relax. The next set is going to keep the same format, advance, then retreat. I will now work four, four on my advance and eight, eight on my retreat, working from high to low, then low to high. Back on guard, four, four on the advance, Eight, eight on the retreat. Four, four, eight, eight. That's two. Three. Four, four, eight, eight. Four, four, eight, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
10. And I relax. One more of the same. Remember, if you have the opportunity to put a mirror, a glass in front of you, so you could assess your position, especially in this technical series, you want to be able to assess if your six is closed, your four is closed, your eight, your seven, using the glass or the mirror in front of you is going to allow you to assess that. Let's get back in position, four on the advance, eight on the retreat, one. Advance, retreat two. Advance, retreat three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Reset, relax. Next series, we'll bring back the six on the advance and then the seven on the retreat. Six and seven at the opposite corner. Seven defending my stomach. Let's get in position. Again, nice flex on the legs, heels still in line, chest still up. Let's go, six, circular six on the advance, seven, seven on the retreat, six, six on the advance, seven, seven on the retreat, two, three, six, seven, four, six, seven, five, advance, Retreat six, advance, retreat seven, advance, retreat eight, advance, retreat nine, advance, retreat 10. I reset and I relax. One more set of six, then seven. Focusing on the precise hand position while we work slightly less intense sequences. We will bring back the lunges next and the intensity later. So now is a good time to focus on technique while recovering. Back in position, six on the advance, Seven on the retreat, one, six on the advance, seven on the retreat, two, six on advance, seven on retreat, three, six, seven, four, advance, retreat, five, six, seven, six, advance, retreat, seven, advance, retreat, eight, advance, retreat, nine, advance, retreat, ten, I reset to six, then I relax. I will start the next series from retreat, working my two hand motion within the one step and work advanced lunge with two hand motions, one on the advance, one on the lunge coordination is not slightly different. Two hand motion on the retreat, six, oh, I'll do it again, six, six, then advanced lunge, six, six, and recover. Six, six on one step, six, six on the advanced lunge. 
I use the same language when I go back and forward, mostly to give everybody a visual of what the motion should look like. Of course, when you advance lunge with that extend and circular motion, it is now a double disengage. But for the sake of the visual, we'll maintain the lines as a reference, six. So let's get in place. Again, two hands on the retreat, one retreat, two hands, six, six, two hands on the advanced one, six, six. And I balance, I recover. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to reset my distance and go five again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Recover, control, then relax. Next set, we'll have four on the retreat and again six, six on the advanced lunge. If you feel comfortable and well stretched, well warmed up, bring some intensity to these lunges. However, maintain the focus on the hand work and the balance. More intensity is acceptable as long as you keep your technique. Let's go four on the retreat, four, four, six on the advanced stretch. One, two, three, four, five. I reset my space. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Recover and relax. Two more series with similar focus. Next one. You may have guessed it. We'll have eight on my retreat, followed by my advanced lunge. The amount of lunges I've done today is starting to pile up. So important to maintain active recovery between sets. Don't sit down, don't cool down too much, stay active. This is what the, the recover will look like in a fencing bout. That's why you want to be used to that kind of recover. So let's begin. Eight on the retreat, six on the repost. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I control my recover and I relax. Final series will work seven as I retreat. 
and back to six as I advance lunge. Let's get in position. Nice and flex. Adjust your space. Make sure you will not lunge into a wall or something. Let's begin. Seven on the retreat. Six on the advanced lunge. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Adjust the space. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Recover. Relax. And two minutes break. I will use this opportunity to drink and relax. We have reached the final phase of our of the footwork for today. Few series focusing on quick execution and trying to bring more power to the lunges. <coughs> First set, advance, double advance, retreat, double retreat. Advance, double advance, focusing on slow, fast, fast. Retreat, double retreat, also focusing on slow, fast, fast. Let's go in position, 10 repetition. Let's begin, slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast, one. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast, two. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and shake it out. I will do another set of the same, same rhythm, same sequence, slow, fast, fast. If I can, I stay flex for the ten repetitions. If the tension in the legs is too, too high, you may stand back up after five repetition, shake the legs and go back to your sequence. The minimum repetitions in a row has to be five, no less. Let's get back on guard, second series. Let's go, slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast, one. Advance, double advance, retreat, double retreat, two. Advance, double advance, retreat, double retreat, three. Slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out.
next sequence will switch the rhythm a little bit. I will start fast with double advance, then retreat. Then do a double retreat fast, then advance. I bring speed to a change of direction. I must make sure my legs are nicely spread, nicely flexed for the change of direction to be very short, very precise, very efficient. Also, my abs are going to work to prevent the speed to be transferred to the upper body. I want my chest to stay straight as I change direction. Let's go for a series of 10. Double advance, retreat, double retreat, advance. Let's go. One. And one on the retreat. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Relax. We're getting close to the end. So now is the time to work through tiredness, some muscles, maybe a little bit less motivation. But now, now is the time to be strong mentally and stay positive. Let's go again, double advance retreat, double retreat advance, 10 reps, let's go. Advance, retreat, retreat, advance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and I shake it out. I'm coming to my final series. Double advance retreat, advance lunge. I'm going to be efficient on the change of direction twice, from the double advance to the retreat to the double advance. On the recover, I will accelerate a double retreat as soon as my front foot lands on the ground. No change of direction after the recover, but efficient, powerful, get away. A few more seconds, rest, and we will begin. I will demonstrate once while you recover. Double advance, retreat, advance, lunge, recover, double retreat. 10 reps, let's get in position. And begin, let's go. Double advance, retreat, advance, lunge. Recover, double retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One more set, which will conclude today's work. Remember, you may break this final series in two sets of five if you need. Fifteen more seconds before the final set. Ten seconds. In position. And begin. Advance, retreat, as a challenge. Recover the retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And relax. You may put down your weapon and grab a drink. We are done for today. Don't forget to stretch and hydrate once you have completed the training. Like the video if, if you want. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get our future content. Don't hesitate to comment, to ask questions, or bring ideas to us. Until next video, I wish you guys good work and see you next time.